Hi, it's Kenneth Tex here with uh, another video in the series about installing Gen 2, or, well, specifically on a 32 bit system. But um, what I go through here should apply mostly to a 64 bit system as well. So, if you remember last time, I mentioned that um, we've got some packages that need to be updated due to the fact that I removed um, IPv6 IPv6 support or I want to remove that support because I don't use it and it's identified these packages that need to be rebuilt to remove that functionality and also that I want to um, add in the extra um, uh, CPU functionality that the AMD Athlon supports such as the uh, SSE support and 3D now and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out from here and do this from remote terminals again. So I'll leave that like that just running and go back to the two screens I had before. I'm going to reconnect okay, with this keyboard and mouse so I don't get confused. And I'm going to reconnect, but this time, well, I can actually go in as the name should resolved. Okay, so identified that some keys have changed, so I'm going to run this command here that suggests to remove it and try it again and. Uh, Should be able to get into that. Okay, there's obviously some other information there, so I'll just do yes to connect to it from now, and I'll put the password in. Okay, now what it is, it's not letting me access this machine because I'm trying to get gain access as root. So what I need to do is to temporarily change that. So I need to log in back here again. And I need to modify a file in the SSHD config. Okay. Uh, sorry, not a file, a setting. Um, let's see if we can find it. Okay, that's not how you're searching this. Let's try that again. How do you search? Where is? Let's try that. Control W. Search for root. Right, yeah. I'll stick it after this. What I need to do is um, permit root login. Yes and save that and then restart the SSH server restart the daemon and that should be enough to allow us to log in remotely as the root so normally you wouldn't want to do this as a potential security issue so I need to bolt this and rerun the command uh, yeah, now it's left letting us in. 